Hello YouTube, it's Kurosama. And here I have today is an unboxing of the Gabaldi Rebake. Um, this is KO1's mobile suit and it actually had a little bit of controversy whenever you've seen it in the anime and we didn't get any kind of promotional pictures for the actual um, you know, mobile suit itself. We were kind of spectating that it was going to be more leaning to uh, an IBO base kit. Uh, but instead we get a uh, Gabaldi beta, I guess, uh, type suit that is essentially uh, recolored in an IBO style and an aesthetic. Um, which is something I don't really mind. I think it looks really good. Uh, the weapon itself looks fantastic. Um, I, I mean, I just I love the, the ground colors. I, I think it's a great kit, but I think a lot of people were really uh, disappointed because they were really, they were just expecting a Barbados or um, some, some type of other rebake uh, base you know kit. So um, this obviously is not going to have uh, probably any IBO related runners. Um, I think this is going to be pretty much the uh, Gabaldi um, beta runners and then it's probably gonna have some new parts uh, along with it uh, but without further just go ahead and take a look at the box art itself uh, it looks really good um, it's essentially a almost a cop, uh, copy and paste of the opening from the anime um, and it, it's, it's a very stylized uh, pose I don't really mind it I think it looks fantastic um, but overall looks really good now this kit did come out in 2018 here on the side we can see there's a couple of poses that are pretty nice. Um, you just kind of see the actions with the weapons as well as he has like a little knuckle guard uh, right there. And uh, I mean the weapon looks fantastic. Um, I'm just, the only thing I'm kind of worried about is going to be uh, the weight. If this thing is really going to be able to do some, um, some poses that won't off balance it. But I think overall it should be fine. Uh, and then over here you see it has a large caliber howitzer. Houtzer, <laughs> um, but it's basically a giant cannon. So um, looks like it's probably gonna be. Sh I think it's shell based, um, more likely. I don't. I don't remember seeing it in the anime being used. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be shell based, um, and just kind of like some let's build custom. So you see all these little extra parts um, that has been released through the build divers line. You can go ahead and interchange it with everything here. And looking on this side, you see a rear and front view. Uh, looks really good. Uh, I like the bulkiness. Looks pretty fantastic. And then if you want to go ahead and read any of the description of the Gabaldi, uh, you could definitely go ahead and read it right here. Now this kit does originally retail for 2200 yen, uh, but obviously in Japan got it for about 1700, so a uh, pretty good pickup. And lastly, this is number 10 in the Build Divers line. Okay, so taking a look at the first runner, um, I'm just going to go over all the Gabaldi beta runners first, and then we'll go into all the new stuff. Uh, so this is runner C1, um, basically, I mean, it's just the inner frame part, so uh, it has like a, I don't know, it's, it's like a weird grayish brown. Um, I don't know, it's kind of it's kind of like really odd, uh, but I, I mean, I don't mind it. I think it looks pretty nice, although, you know, black or gray would um, would definitely, I think, suit this kit a little bit better. Um, but you are, you are going to have this little gun that's going to come with it, but I mean, that's, that's a very, uh, to me, it's a very ugly gun. So I'm probably going to go ahead and uh, put that in the collection of other guns. But yeah, this is the um, inner frame parts. And then here is a one. Uh, looks like you have like a back skirt, side skirts. Um, front skirts right here and just some other parts beam sabers uh, but I don't know how much of all this is going to be used there's going to be a lot of x style parts on the manual but um, overall uh, you know I think this these parts right here are probably going to use I don't know too much about uh, this side though and next here we have A2, uh, definitely the feet. Uh, I'm pretty sure these are gonna be used. I didn't see feet anywhere else, unless I'm, actually no, I am mistaken. So these feet are not gonna be used. Uh, no idea what all this is. Uh, these look like the top of the feet. Um, so yeah, very curious to see how much of this is actually gonna be used. And here's A3, uh, so parts for the chest. I know that's not gonna be used. Uh, I, don't, I don't know about this. I think this might. Because uh, that's the backpack, so I think that might be the backpack for the attachments, but uh, yeah the, I mean something of this runner will be used. All right, and here we have B1 and B2 uh, So B2 just being the small part right up there. Uh, you got parts for the legs right here, which I don't think are going to be used uh, Parts for the head um, Looks like shoulders right here uh, waist, so I mean the color looks pretty good. Uh, it's like a uh, kind of like a drowned out gray. Um, I don't know. I don't know what, what color this would actually be called but I mean it looks more like like tan and gray mixed, uh, but overall I think it looks fantastic And then the last of the Gabaldi beta runners is gonna be C2 um, Just 
I mean, it looks pretty good. Uh, just more airframe parts right inside here. Uh, mostly parts for the legs, feet. Uh, so don't really know how much this is going to be used, but I'm pretty sure like the inner frame parts are going to be fine. Uh, but like, I don't know about this. So we'll go ahead and see. All right, now we can go ahead and move on to the original uh, runners for this kit. So you have E1, E2. Um, I, I think it's, it's like a weird yellow. Uh, it's like a tan yellowish. Uh, but I think it looks pretty good. It's like the color of sand, essentially. Uh, but you got parts of the legs right here, back skirts, shield. Uh, actually, these are front skirts. Back skirts, shoulders, front chest. Uh, a lot of stuff going on. So I think it looks really, really good. They've got some uh, nice little details uh, right here, which I'm pretty sure these are the shoulders. Uh, you got some nice little panels right inside there. Um, but hey, I think it looks fantastic overall. And here we have F1, F2. Uh, so F2 just kind of being a smaller part right here, uh, which is going to be like a, a, a lot of the main weapons. So you have the little cannon right there. You got the little, uh, like scissor hammer parts right here. Uh, and then you got like, I think these are the feet. Yeah, feet. Uh, some inner frame parts are inside there. Uh, this may be the chest. But yeah, that's pretty much about it for, uh, for this runner. I, but actually like this... This thing is actually pretty huge, the, uh, the little hammer scissors. So I'm definitely looking forward to go ahead and get some poses in with this thing. And the last runner is going to be runner G, which is going to be back skirts. Pretty much all the yellow uh, that's going to be all around the kit. little little uh, horn right here. But it looks pretty good. Um, don't really see anything crazy with this. And you also get a little polycap sheet right here. All right, and here is the sticker sheet. Uh, pretty much you're gonna have a majority of white right here, which I'm gonna have to use some uh, Mr. Surfacer, and then go ahead and use some uh, flat white and paint all that. Uh, then you get the eyes, and I have no idea what these little yellow parts are for, but um, I'll, I'll definitely paint all of this, so this sticker sheet's not really gonna be used. You also get a little advertisement for the YouTube channel, which I think is fine. Um, they, I, I don't always watch their uh, live streams, but I do try and like just stop by and uh, at least see Mr. Uh, Kawaguchi because um, he's usually in there doing some kind of like um, tutorials, like very, very simple tutorials, or he's just going over some of the, uh, the newly released kits. And then obviously you can get some uh, Gundam based Tokyo stuff, which I still haven't gone to the new one yet that has the, uh, the unicorn, but I went to the one that had the RX-78-2. Uh, so I'm hoping this year, uh, either, actually either next month, no, I can't do it next month, I'll be in Okinawa. So probably in uh, September or December, I'll be heading over to uh, Gundam Base Tokyo, and I'll definitely go ahead and pick some things up as well as just uh, take some good videos. All right, so looking at the manual, everything looks pretty simplistic. Uh, got like character de uh, description right here as well as more mobile suit description uh, right there. So if y'all want to go ahead and there you go. If you want to go ahead and read it, you can definitely do so right there. Uh, but overall, uh, instructions don't really seem too complicated. Uh, generally, is going to be your basic high grade instructions. So all that right there. Construction doesn't look too bad. Um, yeah. Uh, stickers just don't look too too bad. Okay, so the yellow is actually right here on the shoulders, if you can see right there. So that's where the yellow is going to be, and obviously the uh, the white is going to be on top, and some of the ra uh, other random places across the kit. But I think it looks fine. Um, over here, you just see some kind of poses. Um, I guess, yeah, just talking about the weapons that it comes with. And it also has the color guide right there and the base mobile suit, which is the Gabaldi Beta. Um, overall, I think, uh, I think it's fine. I think it's a really cool looking kit. Uh, should get, I should get done with this probably by Monday. Uh, so hopefully Monday night, I'll go ahead and have this kit completely done. Uh, I'm probably gonna do some weathering to it and some chipping as well as uh, probably a little bit of damage. Um, but nothing really too crazy. Just want to get some stuff, um, you know, done to it. At least to give it some uh, shelf presence. Uh, but that's it, guys. Definitely thanks for watching. And just uh, stay tuned for, you know, a couple more days. And I'll have this kit uh, built up and ready for you to go ahead and watch. Uh, but that's it. And I thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.